Okay, seeing none, uh, we'll go directly then to delegations and petitions. And we have uh, two delegations tonight. Uh, first one is Kim Stevens, the Executive Director, Partnership for Water Sustainability in BC. Uh, Mr. Stevens. Oh. Kim, you're, I see you're no longer on mute. We can't see you, but. Okay. Uh, Mayor, Mayor Beamish, uh, yes, thank you for the opportunity to uh, make this uh, virtual presentation. Uh, a little louder, Kim, please. Sure. Thank you for the opportunity to make this presentation, this virtual presentation to council. How's that? Uh, you're still pretty quiet there. I, I, you, 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 will your speaker go up? Um, it's on maximum. Okay, well, we'll listen with our best ears then. <laughs> okay, yeah. Then. yeah, just be aware that uh, it is uh, it is a stress for us to, to hear you. Already mm -hmm. then. Yeah, okay. okay, well, I will speak loudly. Well, welcome well, to our Beamish. council chambers. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mayor Beamish, thank you for this opportunity to uh, make the virtual presentation to council. And my purpose tonight is to honor the town with a framed champion supporter letter of recognition. And while the presentation is virtual, the framed letter is real. And in fact, it's in your office or in, in, in City Hall uh, currently. So you'll be able to inspect it at your leisure. And uh, in terms of why uh, the presentation, well, uh, it's to recognize the fact that the support by the town contributes to the success of the Georgia Basin Interregional Education Initiative. And this is a unique uh, mechanism for intergovernmental collaboration. And, uh, you know, what, what do you know or wonder about the partnership? Well, I know that uh, in terms of our uh, weekly um, water bucket e-newsletters, which we resumed this uh, today with our first of the season, that you're all rated as four-star readers. So I, I thank you for that and uh, for following us. And uh, just to give you the, the quick synopsis in terms of the partnership being a uh, non-profit society that delivers services in collaboration with government and uh, originated as a, an intergovernmental partnership some 20 years ago. And the partnership embraces shared responsibility and is the hub for a convening for action network in the local government setting and delivers the water sustainability action plan through partnerships and collaboration. And so the partnership uh, plays a bridging role uh, among provincial government, local government, and community stewardship sectors. And our mantra is develop tools, develop talent, and focus on outcomes. So uh, enough of the background, uh, returning to the, the, the purpose of the presentation. And on behalf of the board of directors of the partnership for water sustainability, we are pleased to recognize- There's your volume, your volume's just come up, Kim. Oh, good, <laughs> I can stop yelling. Um, mm -hmm. The town, uh, we're pleased to recognize the town as a champion supporter of the partnership. And uh, this designation recognizes individuals whose enduring commitment, and I emphasize that phrase, enduring commitment, enables the partnership to foster and support collaborative leadership in the local government setting. In particular, we appreciate that the town of Gibson has supported the partnership in a number of ways. Collaboration between the town and the partnership dates back to 2013. And within four years, a working relationship had evolved into formal membership in the partnership. And the town is now represented on the partnership leadership team in the person of uh, Emmanuel Machado, your CAO. I think what is really important to us is that the town has pioneered an approach to natural asset management with reliance with the mission of the partnership. And this synergy reinforces our respective efforts to change how local governments view and value ecological assets and establish budgets for their maintenance and, and, and management. I really want to emphasize that the town of Gibson really did change the conversation in British Columbia on this topic, because I can re recall so well in 2014 when the town uh, uh, passed uh, you know, the, the annual uh, report and you included a, a statement by, by the accounting firm about uh, recognizing natural assets, and that was such a huge defining moment in this province. 
Now, a moment ago, I mentioned the, uh, the Georgia Basin Interregional Education Initiative, which is also known by the acronym IREI. -I well, the town is actively, actively contributing to the success of the program. And this program provides local governments with a mechanism to collaborate, share outcomes, and cross-pollinate experience. And participating regions include the four regional districts on the east coast of Vancouver Island, as well as Metro Vancouver. So all in all, um, the population in, 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 in within the Georgia Basin represents some 75% uh, percent of British Columbia's population. Also really important to us is that the town has acted on behalf of the partnership and the Georgia Basin program to apply for grants from UBCM as well as from SDM. And this type of support is tangible and it makes a material difference to the effectiveness of the partnership in carrying out our mission. And so the, my final kind of bullet here is that the town's uh, support is a linchpin for the partnership's ability to implement our program uh, right now for mainstreaming, mainstreaming EAP, and that's the acronym for the Ecological Accounting Process. And EAP provides local governments with a methodology and metrics to calculate the financial value of land within stream setback zones. So in summary and in conclusion, uh, as a champion supporter, you are a pretty distinguished company. Uh, previously, we have recognized five regional districts and some 13 municipalities as champion supporters. And the municipalities range all the way from the town of Tomox to the city of Surrey. And so on, on that note, Mayor Beamish, uh, that concludes my presentation. Jim, thank you very much. And on behalf of council, I thank you. Uh, I will accept this um, award on behalf of council, but it really it is a recognition of our staff, a recognition of the work our CAO and our staff have done in this very important area. Uh, we came here two years ago and we are continually being educated um, uh, on, in terms of uh, natural assets, natural assets man management. And uh, it is, I agree, a, a true um, feather in the cap of the town of Gibson is all the work that's being done and um, the recognition that we get from outside the community. Um, at some point, I hope that that will be also recognized as strongly within the community. Um, there's still, uh, we still have work to be done in that area. Um, I also acknowledge that uh, you've got the uh, upcoming workshops on November 19th, 26th and December 3rd. I plan to register for those and uh, look forward to that process as well. Uh, anything that we can, anytime we can learn more about uh, natural asset management and what is happening in other areas is valuable to us all. So thank you also for the work that you do and in uh, your programs. And I'll turn it over to council. Does council have any comment or anything like to, to add at this time? Councillors, anything? Um, okay. See nothing, Kim. I, I thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for joining us in our virtual Gibson's Council meeting tonight. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, CAO, thank you very much as well, and staff. Um,